Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I was in my local subway, you know, trying to get my lunch on during work. So I saw that they have this new sign up for a double chicken chopped salad. It looked okay to me, and I was kind of in the mood for a salad, right? So here's what it is. Comes in this nice bowl. I'll let you guys take a look at this. Kind of looks plain, right? So I'm like, you know, how much does this cost? So here's my receipt. Six twenty-five. I don't know why they call it turkey, but maybe they made a mistake. So six twenty-five of this, right? So like, comparably, you could probably get the McDonald's salad or Jack in the Box chicken salad, grilled chicken, similar, for like, I think it's under six bucks, right? So here's the picture from the website, right? So of course, insane amount of ingredients, chicken salad, and all this other stuff. So here's what they say. Oh, we're taking salad to a new level. Now you can make any six inch sub a double meat sub a chopped salad. Try your favorite is a chopped salad today. I'm like, whatever. So I'm already not impressed, right? As you can see on their website, double chicken chopped salad is $7.25. So it seems like they did make a mistake. So I'm like, you know, waiting in line, watching them make the salad. They pulled out two normal size chicken breasts and chopped it up, you know. And then here's where I don't get it. They just put it spinach and the lettuce ingredients from the same containers they put the sub sandwiches with, right? So I'm like, wait a minute, that, that, that's not good, you know. Should you guys be using like ingredients better than that? Or, you know, fresher than that? Maybe it's just my opinion, but it just didn't seem right. I mean, come on, man. If you're going to charge $7.25, you know, that's what it says on online. It better be, you know, a lot of ingredients and stuff. So I'm already not impressed. So. Also, I asked, you know, what kind, of, what kind of dressing you have? They like, they didn't even know what they were doing. So, I asked for Italian, and it took them a while to find this one. It seems like that's the only one they had. Or maybe because you know it's a new menu item, they're not prepared for that. So let me dive in. I don't know. Maybe it'll give me a better impression. So I've added the Italian dressing, mixed it all up. Let me show you what the ingredients are. Look at this, man. Tomato slices that belongs in a sandwich. Some spinach. Some lettuce that's like way too small for a salad. What else? Cucumber slices. Onion. Well, at least he did ask me what I want on it. In the, what, a little bit of green pepper? Man, this, this salad, this salad is like way too small. Well, let me try it. But I doubt anything special about the chicken. Alright, so here's the verdict. The chicken was good. You know, it wasn't overly cooked, not rubbery, white meat, and plenty of it. That's the only plus. Now, the salad, I'm really disappointed. You know, there's hardly any lettuce. If there was any, it was too small. The spoons was alright. And these other ingredients, man, this is from the sandwich. 
to me, that's kind of messy, you know? So overall, I give this salad a 72%. One of my lowest ratings on any food review. Pretty disappointing, you Subway. I mean, you're supposed to be number one, baby. But you were like, you guys don't get surpassed by Jimmy John's. Because you already lost a sandwich, roast beef sandwich battle in my other video. Check that out, guys. So Subway, um, I would, for this salad, I would say pass on it. For seven twenty five, it's not worth it. A salad should not cost that much. Shouldn't be any more than six bucks. So, hey, pass on this. You could probably get a better deal from McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Wendy's. You know, the side salad is only 99 cents, man. You can add your own chicken in there. You can make yourself five salads for the same price. So anyway, until next time.